Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ian. For today, I approve naman natin ang uh, isa sa mga famous formula sa uh, geometry which is yung Pythagorean theorem. Karamihan sa atin ay alam nang gamitin ang Pythagorean uh, Theorem at uh, I'm sure na karamihan sa inyo ay nagamit na rin doon sa pag-solve na inyong mga problems sa geometry, pati na rin sa trigonometry. And for today, ipoprove naman natin kung paano ba nakuha yung formula na Pythagorean Theorem. Of course, napaka-popular ng formula na ito at yan yung gagawin natin. So, to prove the Pythagorean Theorem, let's say meron tayong right triangle at ito yung formula na ginagamit natin to find the missing side of any right triangle. So, alam natin na right triangle ang uh, makikita natin figure na ito at kung hahanapin natin yung value nitong hypotenuse na nawawala, all we need to do is to use leg squared plus leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So ito yung descriptive form ng ating Pythagorean formula na alam natin na yung leg squared, it's either 4 or 3. So if we use 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared or the hypotenuse squared, we'll be able to find the missing side of this right triangle. So 4 squared is equal to 16 and 3 squared is equal to 9. And if we add them up, it's equal to 25. And 25 is equal to c squared. And to get rid of the square kay c, we'll take the square root of both sides. Kaya ang ating value ng c ay equal to 5. So now, we're able to find the value of the missing side of the right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And another way of representing the Pythagorean theorem, na alam kong mas kilala ninyo, ay yung ating a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So si a ang gamitin natin kay shorter leg at si b kay longer leg. At yung hypotenuse natin would be our c variable. So ito ngayon yung ating mas popular, popular na formula ng Pythagorean theorem na alam kong pop familiar kayo. So, meron tayong c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And for today, paano nga ba natin ipoprove na yung formula na yan ay true for any right triangle, no matter how big or small yung ating triangle. Kaya, kailangan natin to ng proof sa geometry. And to be able to do that, let's say meron tayong right triangle represented by this pink right triangle. And we know na hindi pa natin siya masasabing right triangle kapag wala tayong mga markings. So let's add its marking. So ito yung ating uh, right angle notation at ang ating short leg ay tawagin nating A at ang ating long leg ay gawin nating B at yung ating hypotenuse ay gawin nating C. So ito ngayon yung mga sides ng ating uh, right triangle at mag-focus naman tayo dun sa angles ng ating right triangle. So meron tayong right angle doon sa corner at tawagin naman natin yung two corners at alpha and beta. So ito yung ating angle alpha which is opposite niya yung ating A side at si angle beta at ang opposite niya of course ay ating B side. Now, let's construct a square or a quadrilateral mula dito sa ating triangle. And how are we going to do that? Let's duplicate or make duplicates dito sa ating right triangle. So now we have four right triangles na similar ang sizes. So mga congruent triangles yan. At umpisahan natin mag-construct ng square out of these four triangles. So ito yung ating unang side at yung side natin, I want you to focus your attention dun sa ating yellow right triangle. So alam natin na right angle yan at duplicates siya ng other three pink right triangles at yung ating angle A or alpha, I'm sorry, and angle beta. And we need to figure out a way on how to find the angles of those two. Bakit? Kasi kailangan natin establish na makakabuo tayo ng square sa loob ng ating bigger square. So to do that, gamitin natin yung sum of the interior angle theorem na kung saan ang sum ng ating interior angles ng any triangle, no matter what type of triangles you have, is always equal to 
180. So kung 180 yan, syempre alam natin na right triangle is equal to 90 degrees. So yung missing piece ng ating angle will equal to also 90 degrees dahil 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. So now that we're able to prove yung ating uh, complementary angles na si alpha at si beta, we also know na meron tayong straight line at ang straight line nga na equal din sa 180 degrees. So na-prove natin na meron tayong right angle na na-form kapag ka pinagdikit natin si angle beta at angle alpha ng ating triangle duplicates. Now let's create our square. And how are we going to do that? Using uh, yung ating mga transformations, slide transformation, and rotation, makakabuo tayo ng ganitong figure. At ang figure na ito, nakikita natin from our four duplicates ng ating right triangle, ay meron tayong mas malaking triangle, which is represented by this outer square. At syempre, yung ating inner square na makikita natin dahil meron tayong four right angles na na-form doon sa kulay puti na square sa loob ng ating bigger square which is yung ating pink square. Now, let's focus our attention dito sa ating bagong figure na nabuo mula doon sa four duplicates and we're also able to establish na square siya mula doon sa ating mga theorems sa geometry. Now, let's find out how to find the area of the bigger square. And to do that, alam natin na itong side na ito, ang measurement niya would be the sum of the shorter leg of this right triangle, which is side A, at yung longer leg nitong ating right triangle, which is side B. So, in essence, kinukuha lang natin yung sum ng side A at side B to be able to find the measurement of this side of our square or quadrilateral. So, kung meron tayong A plus B side dito sa vertical side natin ng square, syempre, A plus B rin yung measurement ng ating side dito sa square na ito. So, since na-establish natin na square siya, to be able to find the area of a square, the formula for that is equal to side squared. At ang measure measurement ng ating side ay A plus B. So all we need to do is to replace side by A plus B. So now we have A plus B quantity square. And to be able to expand or multiply A plus B times A plus B, it will equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared dahil ito yung isa sa mga special products na meron tayo sa algebra. So now that we're able to establish yung ating area ng ating bigger square na nakuha, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, isip naman tayo ng isa pang paraan kung paano tayo makakakuha ng area ng square na yan using ng mga right triangles natin. So now na meron na tayong established size or formula for the area of the bigger square, let's focus our attention to the four right triangles na pinagmulan ng ating big square at yung square sa loob ng ating bigger square. We know that we'll be able to also find the area of these regions by figuring out a way on how to use existing formula na pwede natin gamitin dito sa ating mga figures na yan. And how are we going to do that? Ito yung ating bagong figure at alam natin na from this figure, meron tayong nakikita dalawang squares. Yun yung formation ng apat na right triangles at yung na-form na square sa loob ng ating bigger square. So let's find a way on how to find the area of that square with a different perspective. So paano natin gagamitin yan or gagawin yan using geometry? Alam natin na meron tayong... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five shapes na nakikita. At kung hindi nyo pa nakikita yung five shapes na nakikita ko, andito yung ating four right triangles na galing dito syempre sa apat na corners ng ating square. At kapag ka-inad natin yung ating mga triangles na yan, mabubuo natin yung ating bigger square. At syempre, kung kukunin natin yung area ng region na yan, kailangan lang natin kunin yung area nitong square na ito which is 
given by the formula or by using the formula of a square. At ang formula ng square ay, of course, side square. So if we add those two little figures, mabubuo natin yung area ng ating bigger square na nakompute kanina in a different perspective. So meron tayong area ng square and to do that, we will add the four right triangles at yung ating little square inside it and to be able to do that, gagamitin natin yung existing formula natin sa geometry which is yung formula ng triangle at formula ng square. Ang formula ng triangle ay half of AB at ang formula naman ng square ay alam natin na side squared. And how we're going to use our little figures to create or find the area of our bigger square, ia-add lang natin yung mga areas na yan. So yung area ng tatlong triangles at isang square would equal to half AB plus half AB plus half AB plus half AB plus side squared, which is yung formula natin kanina. So alam na natin ngayon na yung ating little triangle, ito yung ating A or yung ating base, at ito yung ating height, at yung ating product nyan, kapag kinuha natin yung half nyan, will equal to the area of the triangle. Kaya meron tayong 1 half AB na apat na duplicates dahil meron tayong apat na right triangles. At syempre, yung C squared natin, nakuha natin yan mula syempre dito sa ating hypotenuse, dun sa ating little triangle, and apat yan, kaya nakabuo tayo ng square, at C squared would be the area of our square. And if we combine all of these using algebra, 1 half plus 1 half is 1 whole, 1 half plus 1 half is a whole, so meron tayong 2 whole of AB, kaya yung ating uh, sum ng apat na triangles na yan will equal to 2AB plus C squared. So now na meron na tayong 2AB plus C squared galing dito sa ating mga triangles at square, matatandaan natin na yung area ng bigger square na yan ay equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And to be able to prove na parehas lang yung measurement ng area na ginamit natin dun sa ating previous step dito sa ating new way on finding the area using the four triangles and a square, equate natin sila and see if they will equal to each other. So ito, mapapansin natin na meron tayong a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Yan yung ating area ng square na nakuha natin kanina at yung ating panabagong formula ng square mula naman sa ating mga triangles and square. And papapansin natin na pwede natin simplify yung ating equation by canceling out 2ab at ang matitira na lang sa atin ay a squared plus b squared plus c squared which is as we know is yung ating Pythagorean theorem. So yan yung proof na pwede natin gamitin para mapakita na yung ating Pythagorean theorem would work to any type of right triangle, no matter how big or small it is, using the proof that I have shared with you. So ito yung kanina nating problem on right triangle. So nakuha natin yung missing hypotenuse or missing side using c squared plus a squared or equal to a squared plus b squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem. And another way of looking at it, alam natin, recap lang, so ito yung ating right triangle kanina, dinuplicate natin siya into 4 to be able to create 4 or a square. So ito yung ating first duplicate, si A at saka si B. Pagsasamahin natin yan, angle A and angle B, and then angle A and angle B, and angle A and angle B. And here, we're able to produce the square na ginamit natin kanina just goes to show na yung method na ginawa natin kanina using algebra and the formula for the square and the formula for our triangle na prove natin si a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. At yan ang ating 
proof ng Pythagorean Theorem. At kung meron kayong other way on how to prove the Pythagorean Theorem, share it with me. Comment it down below and let's see if makakabuo kayo ng inyong method on how to prove the Pythagorean Theorem. At yan ang ating lesson sa pag-prove ng Pythagorean Theorem gamit sy syempre yung mga established formula na meron tayo sa geometry. At sa pag-prove ng ating mga formula, nagbibigay ito sa atin ng uh, confidence boost to be able to practice our analytical skill, especially sa geometry. This is Dr. E and see you again next time.